Hey everybody, welcome to Wine Family Farm. It is that time of year again where I am making bread and put my ingredients together. And I don't know if you guys do this, but I do this. I remember when I was a little kid and my grandmother and stuff, we would make bread and we would always put it on top of the fire to rise are on top of the stove she had a stove in the other room and we would put it on there and um and wait and it, it seemed like it'd be forever and we wait and let it rise so cool um so that's what i'm doing right now and i'll show you the steps okay so it's been um probably about 10 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and peek inside um, just to see what's going on in it. Oh, and it's, ri it's rose a little bit, which is cool. I have it next to this hot fire, which helps with the yeast and rising and stuff. So hopefully it'll do that and um, it'll be ready here in about 20 minutes. I or so. um, already preheated my oven to uh, 350 degrees. So I'm doing that. My son is in the other room watching um, <laughs> cartoons. So I went ahead and preheated my oven. It's at 350 degrees and um, I'm waiting on that. It said about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, a lot of people that get their dough rise, what they do is they heat their oven and then they turn it off and then they put their dough or their yeah their dough inside the oven and then let the yeast rise that way but since i have an oven or a stove over there i just put it there you don't have to do that in any way shape or form um it just helps with the rise of your yeast and, and the dough and stuff my alarm is about to go off so it has been 15 minutes i'm gonna give it an extra five minutes because i don't think it's as fluffy as what i would like so I'm going to give it an extra five minutes and we'll do that. Um, my main ingredients um, is what I had. I had um, some coconut oil. You want to use that? Um, and some raw honey. I have collected these the past six months because I'm a prepper. Um, some active dry yeast and these are about five or six dollars every time I go to the grocery store I pick up one of these um, I use I had a, a discussion with some people but I use this Bob's Red Mill um, stuff right here and this is whole wheat uh, baking flour the reason why I've been using this is not only is it it lasts ten times longer um, than regular flour in the bags this has like a plastic on the outside there's like a coating on the bag so um it's sealed up really nice so the flour inside that bag lasts 10 times longer than regular bag that you get with just like the regular um, paper wrapping so um another thing that's really important i think when you are making bread or any type of bread um use parchment paper it makes your life 10 times easier so um, I'm going to set this down and measure out my trays and put on the parchment paper. Hopefully you can see. But yeah, this makes your life 10 times easier and it keeps the dough from sticking on anything. Because it is, I mean, the dough does get sticky. So. I hate when it's all in a roll like that because it makes it hard to sprawl out on the uh, sheets but yeah I'm basically gonna be making these like into like a little patty and then once they're in a little patty then I'm just gonna put them um, on the tray and then um, you let them cook for about 30 to 35 minutes but there's some other things that you have to do at first and uh, I'll show you that in here in okay, a minute so I let it rise for an additional five minutes let me flip this camera around and this is what it looks like. It's so much easier um, when you have a mixer. If you don't have a mixer, you're constantly, like you have to basically like punch the dough. 
um, but it's so much easier when you have a mixer. So this is what it looks like, and it did rise quite a bit. It just didn't rise as much as I would have liked. Um, I've had it almost to the top of this bowl before, so, but I didn't want it to hit any of my gears. I've had it hit my gears and stuff and come up into here before in such a pain in the butt to clean. Okay, so I'm basically adding two more cups um, of flour. After I'm done with this process, I'll show you some techniques um, that I'm doing to the rolls just to make. And it's actually warm. It's kind of cool. And it's, ooh, and it smells like bread. So, um, what I'm basically going to do now is get it ready for the rolls. Pardon my camera angles, I don't really have a good tripod, so. Um, another thing is I want to make sure to let you guys know to make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Um, we work really hard at putting out good video content and um, we really appreciate everybody's comments. Um, make sure to hit the subscribe button and to hit the bell button too when you're watching our videos. It really helps. So, um, Basically, I just take a little piece of dough in my hand um, and actually I don't even want it this big. just kind of work it a little bit because once it's in the oven it'll really rise up so you just gotta account for that yeah and then that's what it ends up looking like and then I just put it on the tray so it's gonna be a second um, before I'm finished Okay, these right here are my little roll things, and I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so I put a little egg in this dish here, and just kind of kind of scramble it about it a little bit. This is what you call an egg wash, so I do that to pretty much all my rolls here because of the stuff I'm going to add to them. So I just kind of make it to where it's runny. I don't have a baster or like a, a brush or anything. So I just use paper towel, which you can use. And I just kind of dab the tops of these and wash them with egg. And then I put my, after this, I'll just put my topping on. You just kind of dab it. You don't have to like soak it or anything. Just do like a little egg wash. Okay, so I did an egg wash and then I just kind of put some of that over top. Um, I have another tray set up here. I'm gonna just do that with plain. And um, as I'm sitting here, because I have my oven on, as I say here, these are starting to rise. So I'm gonna hurry up and put those in the oven. The recipe that I have calls for it to be in the oven for about 35 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And uh, I'll show you the results when I'm done. This is how much dough I've had left. So I'm just going to make like a little teeny loaf of bread and I'm trying to make it to where it can fit in the toaster in the morning. And then my son can have a nice piece of wheat bread with peanut butter on it for breakfast. I still got 14 minutes to go, so. And then I'm going to put the rest of this in the oven for uh, 30 to 35 minutes. And uh, we'll watch it here. I'll show you a little sneak peek. Ooh. Okay, so I just have a few, um, actually a second left. Ooh, there it is, it's going off. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, and there they are. Looking good in there. Let me go ahead and pull them All out. right, and those are my rolls. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next video.